right, so it looks like it has begun. It is only 11 a.m. It was supposed to start around 3, so here we go. fortunate because we found out that we got the last boat to get off this island before the cyclone so when we went to confirm our seats yesterday there's just a mass amount of people trying to get off this island and panicking we went to the grocery store last night all of the water is gone it definitely looks like the end of the world like everyone is preparing for the unknown especially all of us tourists because we've never experienced a cyclone before <laughs> I think flooding is still going to be an issue no matter where we are. Waves are supposed to be 5 meters. The wind gusts are supposed to be 139 kilometers per hour, which is roughly, I think, like 89 miles per hour, which I think is hurricane speed. Over 70 people from this same storm have already died in the Philippines. From so flooding. We're kind of nervous. Yeah, it's serious. Yeah. It's really serious. <coughs> the last time this area of Thailand was hit with a tropical cyclone was like 67 years ago, I think it said. And it was pretty devastating. Like hundreds of people died and like billions of dollars worth of damage. So uh, I'm yeah. kind of scared. I just hope everyone's okay. We'll see. Oh my god. I'm gonna break my legs. The only bad thing about it is the wheels just like mm -hmm. touch your butt. And those are some dirty wheels. <laughs> Looks pretty good. God, everyone is trying to get off this island. <laughs> I was like, we are all going yeah. to the same place, let's just chill. God, it's like the end of the world. It's really cool. I don't even know if this boat should be running. It sounds like no. Like, literally, as I was about to check in, they were calling to see if they were still going to run or if they were going to have everyone get off the boat. And then they panicked and said, everyone get on the boat. So, the check-in lady was screaming at me to run. I'm nervous. are just thankful to be on land. I feel worse on land right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, like, I'm a little wobbly. Uh, <coughs> I'm not excited for this part, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be expensive and there's gonna be a gazillion people down here just barking at you. Yeah, we just find people who are going the same way. Yep. Lamai Beach on yeah. the far other side of Koh Samoy. <laughs> Okay, that was easy. I said no to the cab guy because it was a thousand total. And these little brown guys out front 
They're 100 per person. The first person you see is 10 times the price of walking 10 more feet. Five. For two. Five times the price. Five times, sorry. <laughs> 500 per person, 1,000 total. Versus 100. Versus 100 per person. This is cheaper than we thought it was going to be. This is our home for the cyclone. For the cyclone. And if it starts flooding, we're going upstairs because this one I think is only two floors, but the one across the way where we checked in is three floors and we are staying at the top if we need. And in all the weeks of travel, we've only been put on the first floor one time. <laughs> and that's right now. Just in time for floods. floods. Oh my floods. gosh. Okay. So it is the day of the storm. It looks like it's not supposed to roll in until evening now, but reading the weather reports, it seems kind of scary. There's <laughs> been thousands and thousands of people evacuating the islands. The place in the country that's supposed to get hit the worst is right where we are. I'm reading stuff right now, and it, the biggest issue is gonna be flooding. So 12 inches of rain, and just poor drainage systems, and we're at the base of mountains. Some landslides. So it's like the perfect recipe. Our hotel has done nothing. No. They haven't contacted us whatsoever, so I think we're gonna be proactive and we're gonna walk over there because we're on the first floor. Our door has like a huge crack in it, which is fine normally, but this is a different case. So I feel like we need to do our part and be cautious as well and see if they're willing to help us in any way or if they're even concerned. I, I have no idea. Okay, so we just went to the front desk and asked the desk lady if we could change rooms and go to the floor above. She seemed like really unaffected by what's happening right now. She was like, oh, it's not really raining that hard right now, so it's probably not gonna happen. She was like, like, well, the rain was kind of like this all through the night, so like, I don't really think it's gonna be bad. And we're like, uh, we've been researching every single news channel there is. I think it's going to be bad. <laughs> so she's like, you'll be okay, but if you still wanna change your room, okay. And we're like, uh-huh, yeah, we'll do that. If there are 12 inches of water plus standing water from runoff, that would 100% be in our room. Flood our room. Yep. So, better safe than sorry. <laughs> okay. Now our new home. <laughs> I, for one, feel much better about this. Honey, it's our first cyclone together. So many items being checked off my bucket list. At least I know if something happens, I had what could be my last coffee ever. We no, should take our last shower ever. <laughs> is already out. So this is already going way faster than it was supposed to. It said that the storm is supposed to touch down around 7 p.m. So it's six hours from now. We already have no power. Today's gonna be a really long day. I don't know. Mm.
I'm bored. Wake up. I'm bored. Wake up. I'm bored. The storm is officially 30 minutes away. The power came on again. The power came on again. It's gone on and off three different times now. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Just wanted to give you an update. It's raining pretty hard. Oh, it fogged up. <laughs> it fogged up immediately. It's very humid. But you know, people are clearly not worried about this. The music is on at the bars. Braden says we should go get a drink. Oh, it's fogging right back up. Oh, there I am. <laughs> So the only thing happening for us is even on the second floor, the water is starting to come in. So we need to try and find a way to dry that up. I'm just happy that we are not on the first floor. I think it would have been much worse. Yep. <laughs> well, we're looking forward to seeing how things look in the morning. I hope not everything is destroyed. That's sad. And I hope everyone's safe. We're safe. We're good. Okay, we survived our first cyclone. <laughs> it is the morning after. And we just checked the weather report and it looks like it's still kind of lingering in the area, but there's not a whole lot of news about any major damage. Mm -hmm. Last night we saw quotes from like BBC News that British travelers said, there's gonna be nothing left. And they were stranded. That is so dumb. <laughs> I, people are just trying to make an article out of it. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, you technically you're stranded because ferry services have been suspended. But you're not stranded. There are plenty of restaurants and places to go grab water. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi at times. I'm like, okay, you guys are really putting up a show. During the worst part of the storm, the power was on. Mm -hmm. We don't know how. It was funny, but. So it was just <laughs> a great excuse to have a package of Oreos, a package <laughs> of chocolate caramel cookies, two bags of chips, a giant jug of water, dried mango, fresh mango, fresh passion fruit, soda, two coffees, McDonald's, McDonald's. <laughs> Almonds. <laughs> Literally all we did yesterday was sit inside and eat because we were like, what if this is the last time we get to eat? We're fine. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure this could have been worse, but it wasn't. It was supposed to be much worse. I'm just, I'm thankful that it wasn't worse because while we are here in a hotel, we get to leave all of these other people, this is their home. And I, that's so awful if yeah. anything is damaged and Let's go outside and see if there is any damage. <laughs> oh, foggin. Oh, foggin. Okay, bye. <laughs> Everyone's alive. Everyone climbed out of their cave. We've all been hermits for yeah. the last two days, and it's like, I <laughs> We're also really happy to report that the sexy sex bar sign and the bar were not damaged in the storm. We're heading to the ocean to see if it's calmed down at all. It's already way windier here than it was a couple blocks in, but it looks like the waves might be way less. It's less, but it's definitely not back to normal, that's for sure. It ain't the normal Gulf of Thailand. No.
Well, the waves and the wind are still going, but the rain has stopped. The sky has some clear spots, and we're just happy everyone's okay. Yeah. We're happy that we're not wading in trashy water right now. I mean, it could have been really bad. We are so freaking lucky. So lucky. You are such a survivor. I'm a survivor. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs>